Uh, good morning, Aaron. This is Given from TechnoDrive. Uh, thank you very much for bringing this inverter for repairs. We are now done with the repairs. Uh, you can see this is the same inverter that you brought. There is a serial number. Uh, we are going to test it, but let me show you how we are going to test it. Uh, we've got the light there. You see that spotlight there? It's connected to the plug together and the white cable goes straight to the inverter, which is the bottom uh, terminal. You can see there. The bottom one this is the line that's uh, supplying the light and the top one is the escom line which is an input okay and then we've got the pv connected as well um we are going to test those and the battery connected already okay uh, there is the full view of your inverter you can see this is the same inverter that you brought okay all right let me show you before we test let me show you something here you see here on the pv there's an arc there so this tells you that when they were working on the inverter the power was still on please make sure that when they connect or disconnect the inverter they switch off the power there must be no power at all same with the escom and the output there must be no power they have to make sure that the inverter is not live when connecting because if you do that, you can damage the inverter immediately. And also here, yeah, they have to make sure that they don't swap the output with an input. So if they, they for instance, take the ESCOM line and connect it at the bottom, they're going to blow the inverter immediately. So just make sure of that. Okay, let's switch on the inverter so that you can see. Okay, the inverter is coming on. You can see we've got the battery voltage of 52 volts you see when there's an output there the light will come on check out the light there the inverter is coming he has that so we've got 230 and the the light is on so that light is getting power from the inverter so as you can see there's no any other input power so the inverter is using the battery power to generate the 230 volts okay you can see the voltage from the escom is zero volts and the pv is zero volts let's switch on the pv you can see now the pv is coming on we have got 199 volts which is almost 200 volts of the pv voltage you will see when the inverter okay there it goes the inverter is now taking power from the pv to the appliances so the PV uh, side is working. You can see there it's still ch it's also charging. So now we are using power from the PV. Okay. Let's test the ESCOM line. Yeah, the ESCOM line coming in. You, you see now we've got 229 volts, which is the ESCOM line. You remember that plug? We plugged it now. That's the ESCOM line. So now we've got 229 volts. So the inverter is working 100%. You can see it's accepting PV, ESCOM line, and there's an output. Okay. So to show you that the inverter is working when there's no power, the, the, the ESCOM power, let's disconnect. You will see the light will stay on. will stay on because, because the inverter is generating power from the battery you can see that it's zero there but the light is still on so the inverter is working 100 percent you can collect when you have time thank you very much